So guys, gloved. Really happy with where it's going. Um, really proud of what we're doing, actually. I think we've got some really good content, myself and Jamie. Um, pulling on some of my colleagues, some of my um, friends in the game. Moving forward, we're going to expand that. We're going to move into Jamie's domain. We're going to look for people up and coming. We're going to look for people who are a bit lost in the game. We're going to look for the obvious, you know, the, the talents out there, the, the, the guys that you know that have been there and done it. We're going to look for the guys who've obviously finished and look back on their career. Um, really like that direction. I'd like to think that you guys do too and are taking lots of positives from it. Gloved Extra is what we're going to bring to the game now. So Gloved Extra is going to be the Insta Lives that we're doing. Gloves Extra is going to be, we're going to really encourage you guys, really encourage our little community that we're growing now to send in what gets you motivated, what excites you, what what Michael Jordan clip really resonates with you, what Rafa Nadal comment resonates with you, what gets you motivated, what makes you feel like I'm ready for this, what makes you feel like maybe I'm having a moment, but if I look to this person, I look to this female athlete, I look to this male athlete, I look to this young athlete, what's going to motivate me? Um, and there's so much out there. And we've been trying to stress in the previous Insta Lives that this is not a question and answer for myself, not a question and answer for Jamie. This is a general discussion about the topic of moving forward, um, onwards and upwards, getting the best out of ourselves, getting the best out of each other, um, it's positive. And I think with the gloved extra, we're going to, you know, we're going to use some of Jamie's old interviews. Hopefully you guys have watched the Conor Jorge, uh, Jorge um, interview. Loads to take from that. Loads. A guy who really took things by the scruff of the neck. And maybe you wouldn't know that about him. Um, so gloved extra is going to be the concept. We're just going to have a little 20 minute discussion now about what we're going to get from it. Um, and hopefully we're going to give you guys the tools to use this properly what we're trying to do here. Um, as I say, it's not a question and answer. Yeah, I've had some good moments in my football career and I've got some interesting answers, but we're not interested in that. I'm sure that's been discussed in many boring um, paper interview that I've done down the lines. This is something really niche. This is something really exciting. Uh, and this is a movement. This is a positive movement that we're trying to encourage people to talk. And Ultimately, the goal, the more that I've worked on this and the more we've worked together, ultimately, is to try and help people be the best version of themselves, myself included. I'm, I'm still more than ready to grow and looking to grow. Jamie's exactly the same. He takes just as much out of it. Um, yeah, we're proud to do it and we're looking forward to working with you guys about it. So, Jay, gloved Perfect. extra. Gloved extra. Um, love it. I think, um, you know, we always wanted... We always wanted this to be much more than just it was you and your career. Obviously, um, people are interested in that. They're interested in what goes on behind the scenes and in between the sticks. And, and I think the, the different types of people that we've had so far. But the big but is we want this to be about you we want this to be about the people who um you know who are up and coming um uh, whether that's young players and as you know i work with lots of young players and young people but we want this to be about you so very often i'll encourage people to say don't ask me about the player Think how does it apply to you directly, and that's what that's what the extra is going to be about. Um, so, Joe said clips um, of different things, but send us a video, send us a direct message, send us send us something. We get to we get back to you, um, and that, and that's going to be the exciting the exciting bit. And glove extra will you know will evolve when we come out of this period um to you know to live and different different things so time to start asking different questions when you ask a different question you get different answers um, and that's what this is about next level i think one thing that i'm really keen to talk about jay is some of the gold that we've already got from gloved really reviewing what we've got in gloved i think i need to do it as well going back through the the interviews that we've done um 
and really looking at the the nuggets as you call them that you can take from everyone's story because the more i do this the more i realize how relatable it is to literally everything and everyone every walk of life every situation even if you want to really mint like really want to home in on football it's exactly the same for a guy going through saturday league as it is a guy who's prepping for the champions league because ultimately the next game is everyone's champions league game so i think that's something that i really want to home in i really want to home in on the work that we've already done the work we're going to do um, and what really resonates with you guys and why i think you've got to tell us why because then I've found working with, especially working with Jamie, I've worked things out as I've gone along. My why has come literally as I've rambled on. So mm. see if that helps you. See if that can come into your, into your arsenal of um, way of thinking and your way you set up and where you move forward. Do you know, Joe, what, what's interesting in, in that though is, is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's something that I coach to coaches and, and to people who want to coach mental skills. And I say... There's a difference between uh, consulting. If you say, if, if you're consulting, you're, you're telling. If you're coaching, you're extracting. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So it might be, do this. But you've heard me many times. It's not, you know, I, I, I often say, it's not for me to tell you what to do. So that's coaching and it's extracting it out, which is why you've got to talk and you've got to listen. Um, but then there's also a part where for people that are listening is that it's almost how can you coach yourself? And when you coach yourself, it's like listening to the glove door. You will actually hear what people are saying. And then you've got to imagine that we're talking to you or that person's talking to you. And it's then, right, what am I taking from this? And that's the, the process of, and that's why we say, you've got to get, you've got to get your books. <laughs> yeah, two books, yep. three books, four books. You've got to get your books, you've got to get it out of your head and you've got to write it down. And that's, that's a form of self-coaching. Yep. Um, so that's really important. So for Joe to say that he's, you know, that going back and listening there was something I was listening to today and um, and I've listened to it lots of times, but because I heard it again, I was like, God, that wasn't, I don't remember that bit. So you, you'll always pick something up out of something different out of it when you listen to it over and over again, because maybe the timing when you listen to it once, that bit wasn't, that was relevant. But then when you listen to it again, something else is relevant um so so i think that's important um micah came up in a conversation a couple of days ago and it jogged my memory to listen to the micah interview again and i think we should get micah on again anyway because i think with what he's doing now with his media um will also be a, an, an interesting interesting insight not because I don't think not because um, you know he's a te he's a presenter now and he's a pundit, but I think from that transition of changing changing career, yeah, and dealing with that, don't you think? Yeah, yeah agreed. That's what we've, we've got to do. We've got to be we've got to be diverse. We've got to be all ends of the scale, um, and that's why we we've, we've been discussing that we'd love to speak to we'd love to speak to the guys who tune into this the guys who you know send us such positive messages let us know how this has affected us in a positive way um even the mums and dads of um the younger generation that are listening to this mm. um you know we, we've had some great you know literally the reason we're doing it is like there is no gains other than to try and help and try and point people in the right direction um so we want to hear you know i, I don't think there'll be anything better myself a parent your 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 parent jamie um it's behind me it's yeah to hear to hear from and how uh, you know a parent saw their their child helped or pointed in a better direction maybe give us maybe help me see things from a different point of view you know we're not necessarily trying to teach people how to be better footballers can we help them 
give them a better way to help their children or help their team that they're coaching you know mm. i think that's what we're going to try and get from it from here in all ends of all ends of everybody I, i'll give you i'll give you an example um yesterday uh, yesterday a mum called called me um she'd been introduced by somebody else and um in fact you know um uh, it was the lady when you were at Shrewsbury. Remember, I told you Claire Wilberforce. Oh yeah, 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 Claire Wilberforce. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, when when whenever people always say like they think I'm making shit up, right? I only talk through stories, right? So, you know, I can't say oh this lady and blah blah blah, and it not be true. And and it and for those of you watching and listening, Claire actually was the education officer at Shrewsbury Town, wasn't she? She was. Yeah, so, um, but I won't mention the lady's name, um, but Claire was the one that said, um, look, I've got somebody I would like you to speak to um, because her son is an elite athlete and he's like, you know, he's young, like young, yeah. young. And I said, yeah, I've, I've worked with kids who are six years old at Wimbledon. That's when they start playing tennis. Um, yeah. But it's not because, you know, we're going, right, we're working with a six-year-old because they're, you know, there's something wrong. We're actually putting fun things in place for them to train the brain. And, um, and so, it, you know, it, but the, you know, the mum was like, oh, well, what, you know, what is it that I can do or say better because I'm not in sports. And, and so it is, it's, you know, it's, it's mums and dads saying, how can I help my son or daughter, you know, with, you know, with their preparation. And that's, that makes, that, that changes it as well. There's lots of people I've worked with where it started with the parents, you know. So, like you said, you're a parent, I'm a parent, and believe me, you know, I'm a parent of a basketballer who I'm having to say, you're going playing for somebody else now because, you know, First thing, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, right, rather than not eat my own words, I just yep. say, you go and play for him because I'm, he's going to get in the car and I'm going to go, um, what have you done today? <laughs> and, and that's, remember, remember with Casper? Yeah. And his dad said, right, I can either be your coach or your dad. Which one do you want me to be? That was such a great conversation from like a famous dad, famous son. Which one do you want me to be? And he went, dad. And yeah. Peter Schmeichel goes, good answer. That's, that's me at the minute. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I want to be your dad, not your coach. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm, you're going to go somewhere else. So parents, you know, we, we get it. We get yeah. it. And even if we don't help us to understand, mm -hmm. like I say, we're, we're open. I think one thing that I, I'm definitely like, I'm definitely big on pushing is the word mental health. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to respect it. Yes, there are some depths to it, but mental health is such a positive thing. It can be such a huge, you know, there's, there's two sides to it and it can be, it can be, it can be a downfall admittedly, but it can be your strength. It can be your absolute strength. Yeah. And, and, and again, that, that comes into how, it's communication and it's how people are communicated with, with themselves. Um, but it's also how they communicate with others. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put something on in a second where it's, I'm saying like, you've got to change it. Here's what I would do is I'd say, we're going to change it from mental health to mental wealth, W E L L T H, you know, wealth. Um, w W E L L. So, like being well. Got yeah. Clever little spin there. Clever little spin, yeah. So yeah, and and I think you know because you know people do think of that as um, they think of they think of obviously wealth, mental wealth, and um, so yeah, clever spin. Um, I'll show you a picture of that right now because it will be worth people going okay that's what we mean by there you go yeah so if we, if we talk about you know 
most people have a visual association of wealth being money and but what we're saying is you know is this type of wealth and that's why it's it's, a, it's very different than mental health because there are some negative associations with it even though it is that the, the intention is very positive um so mentally well yeah interest in this um i think is he a goalkeeper i think he is a goalkeeper do you know this young lad chris um i forget his name your hand on his shoulder yeah yeah he's he was one of pete's one of pete's like right? yeah. Yeah, no. yeah one of pete's young lads so yeah we 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 know what people mean when they say mental health, but there was a lot of things going on in, in the, on Sky Sports with mental health in football. And I think the, I think from, from our perspective, it's, or certainly from my perspective, is when, when you hear people talk about it, it's like everything drops. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's only a, it's a mental health in football is associated with guys who come out of the game and struggle. And, you know, like I say, like, you've got, you've got to respect that story. But that is, there's two sides to every story. There's, there's mental, you know, mental strength mm -hmm. as well as, you know, like the, the downside to mental health. And that's what I'm like, I'm banging my head against the wall with because why, why would you not celebrate something like that rather than... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah, extra is going to be that. And uh, you know what? It, it's good time to bring that up when you mentioned Connor, because Connor came to Connor came to me, and if you listen to the to that episode, Connor came to me not because something was going wrong. He he, he actually said, "I want to build on." I said, "I'm." He said, "I'm." pretty strong he said there's nothing wrong um i've heard about the work that you've been doing and i want to get better and I said, that's music to my ears and then he just yeah, added to that he just he added to that and he said i just want a big move <laughs> uh, yeah he wanted his big move um from barnsley and but what was interesting was the wet, the reaction that his parents and his inner circle said, "What go and see somebody? What's wrong with you?" And he said, "He said there's nothing wrong with me. He said I'm just wanting to get better. So if 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 we can, you know, if we can help with that with um, glove dextra and so guys, um, that's, we've got what we're gonna do is we're gonna really finish the year strong you know so we're in the eighth month almost eighth month of the year we've got four months to go of 2020 and we're going to finish really strong that's what we're going to do yeah. so we'll see you soon it's a lot you've been asking about these club t-shirts um link is in the bio get yourselves over there get involved spread the love there's limited stock so, yeah, let's see what you think. See how they fit. Send your pictures in once you've got them. And let's be a family. <laughs>